back to Comic Beyond, and in this episode we're talking about Detective Comics 843 through 844. So in this, in this story, it starts off, there's this nightclub that just opened up in Gotham, and uh, it's on, it's been sabotaged, it's on fire, so Batman has to go in and rescue people. And so he thinks that Penguin might be behind it, so he goes to Penguin's place and he confronts him because this nightclub just opened up down the street from Penguin's Iceberg Lounge. So he thinks Penguin's the one that sabotaged it. So while he's interrogating him, meanwhile the town is performing in Gotham at doing her uh, magic, magic show. And so there's this new character who owns the club, his name is uh, Sam Bentino. And so he's waiting backstage for Satana to get done, and he's trying to offer her a job. He wants her to come and perform at his club. And she's relentant at first, but she um, she decides to make an offer and uh, take the job or the gig. And so we skip forward to where she's already been doing it a couple nights. And so by the time we see her performing at the club, she's using Bruce Wayne as her magic act, and it's almost like a teleportation act. She uh, straps him down to a table and uses magic to teleport him across the room, and the next thing you know, he's sitting at the bar. So that was kind of a cool little scene. And then uh, after her show, him and uh, Bruce Wayne and Zatanna are having drinks at the bar, and she starts to bring up um, questioning Bruce, asking him why he's never like uh, tried to make their relationship more than just friendship and like take it to the next level. And before he can really, like, get out of the conversation, the club gets attacked. And it gets attacked by, um, a, car a Batman villain called Scarface, who's like a ventriloquist puppet. And, uh, his goons. So, if you don't know about Scarface, he's one of my favorite Batman villains that doesn't really get used all that much. But he's a puppet, and sometimes it's left up interpretation to the reader, like... Is the puppet really alive, or is it the operator of the puppet that's actually pulling the strings? Um, no pun intended. And so, it's attacked by Scarface, and he's actually got a new um, hand, I guess. Uh, somebody that's actually, like, toting him around. And it's a woman this time. You, um, used to, it was an older gentleman that used to carry uh, Scarface around to carry out his... Uh, crimes or his goals or whatever it was and so he's there to like kidnap Sam Bentino and in doing so he actually takes uh Bruce Wayne hostage with him and so they got Bruce and the Sam Bentino guy held up at this old like warehouse type place and there you learn that um Bruce actually knows the woman that's using uh Scarface her name's Peyton and so, him and her have a history, not that they were ever in a relationship, but she knew somebody that Bruce knew. And uh, the reason why him, or Peyton and Scarface want this San Bentino guy is because he's trying to, like, move in on the crime in Gotham. So he's, like, getting weapons for the gangs and uh, selling drugs and uh, just kind of moving in on Scarface's turf. Um, so that's why they're wanting to take out the San Bentino guy, but they take Bruce Wayne as a hostage. Um, so Zatanna shows up, uh, rescues Bruce, um, but Scarface, uh, gets away with San Bentino. And so Bruce is strapped to a chair, but Zatanna uses her magic to get him in his bat suit, which I thought was kind of cool. And, uh, so Scarface hightails it to his yacht and takes San Bentino with him. So Batman and Zatanna, sh or Zantana show up there to uh, stop them, and then the scuffle, um, uh, Peyton and uh, Sam Bentino actually die by falling overboard, like, they get shot, but they drown once they fall, and uh, so the puppet's just left on the ground, so Batman actually takes Scarface back to the Batcave and, like, stores him in this, like, cupboard in the Batcave. And there you get a hint that uh, Zatanna has a fear of puppets, which we'll cover one day. There is a issue of her series where you learn the history of why she has this, like, puppet phobia. So it's an interesting story, so we'll cover that one day on the channel. 
but um the book ends where she's trying to pick up where their conversation left off at the bar about their relationship and so um bruce tells her you know he's like uh basically like our friendship's important to me and i try to leave it there because i don't want to open a door to anything else basically the same old comic book hero trope um they're afraid of endangering any of their loved ones because of their their profession you know they don't want their villains you know trying to get at the people they care about so he basically tells her he's like yeah i as much as i do care about you and all that stuff we just got to stay friends i can't i can't open that door to anything else and so she accepts it or whatever and they stay friends and then that's how the book ends so this is two issues um i actually really enjoyed this book it, like it was a fun read um it's a fast read but um it was really entertaining i did i did enjoy this and like the interaction between bruce and zatanna and all that kind of stuff like at the club at the bar and stuff like that there are little reactions to each other so i did enjoy this book uh these two issues more so than the, the last book even though the last book had some like good moments i actually enjoyed these two issues more so this is a uh, detective comics 843 and 844 and so i hope you enjoyed this episode i know it was a quick episode but um the issues just fly by but that was all the general story um between both of them so i hope you like this episode um if you do please subscribe if you want to hear more um zatanna in the future i'm going to do more but i'm going to start doing more of the fun crossover comics and stuff like that so stay tuned and until next time i'll talk to you later Thank you.